Hello once again, this is Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are at the vehicle entrance to the Meritex Caves in Lenexa, Kansas, where we are going to be watching part two of a cable replacement project and a new switch installation at Meritex Caves. Our participating utility is Kansas City Power and Light, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now, as stated, we are at the vehicle entrance to Meritex Caves, and we'll take you back atop the caves. This is the distribution pole that we saw in part one of this cable replacement video. Notice the 4 aught copper cable that is uh, hanging on the pole ready to be connected. And here is a scene from that first video also showing the cable being sent down into the ground. Because here is where it's going. These are the Meritex Caves, a home to some records, storage facilities, and some corporate facilities for data and archives. But to tell the full story, we need to go back a couple of days. This is video of the crew several days before the cable pull using noisy sticks, noisy testers, you might be able to hear them beeping in the background, to check for voltage and isolate several of the switching cubicles that are used inside the caves to distribute power from the new switch we're going to see out to its various constituents within the caves. And in fact, here comes our cable now being fed down from up above. Remember the red and yellow stripes from part one of this video. That cable will come down and the crew is bringing it into a rectangular brick area that is going to be the home for a brand new solid dielectric in air fault interrupting switch, which they will carefully bring back to its new housing, including attaching a harness to pull it back into this area. You see the cable in the background, perhaps. It's just been fed in. Because now we're going to jump to our splicer doing a termination on this switch. You see he's bending back and tamping down the neutrals to start with. Slide on some cold shrink termination. Then he needs to peel back the semicon level of the cable. We're skipping some of the steps here, you've seen them in other videos. Measure and cut away insulation using a blowtorch in this case to make it easier to peel away the insulation layer and uh, expose the cable itself for connection. Use some lube. You'll see how difficult it can be to get these rubber parts to slide together. Imagine that without the lube. You notice he's also taking the cold shrink termination off temporarily. Now he's going to put a lug on the end of this cable and then he'll use a crimping tool to make the connection between the lug and the cable and he'll actually do this in a couple of different directions, rotate the crimper. But first he's going to go back and make sure he's got the right distance between the cable and the connector on the switch. He's got that secured, he's going to finish his crimps. Then put the cold shrink termination back on before he makes the connection. Notice those clean crimps in uh, various directions. Now a little more lube to make sure the T connector connects up to the switch quite well. Slide that in, slide the cap in to that. And he's going to tighten that down. And then a little more lube to make sure the cap on this fault interrupter can be secured. Snap or slide that on. And now you can unwrap the cold shrink termination. That'll condense right around the cable. And now you can focus on connecting up the neutrals to a neutral bus bar on the bottom of the switch. 
And here you see on the leftmost panel of the switch, bottom connection there, a completed termination. And then you will see here, several days later, the completed terminations to our new solid dielectric switch installed at the Meritex Caves in Lenexa, Kansas. And with that, we can return to the vehicle entrance of the Meritex Caves. This concludes part two of our TND How video on a cable replacement project at the caves. Our participating utility was Kansas City Power and Light. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.